What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. It is a good day. It is a good day all around. I just turned my camera on. I didn't have to do anything to the settings except for one click. One click is all it took. I just dropped off a bunch of deer meat at the processor and the bait shops have fiddler crabs again. I just got 10 dozen fiddler crabs. So it's a good day. The sun's out. It's 70. It was 73 degrees. It's February. Sheep's head bites good, so it's a good day. But I'm headed out. We're going fishing. I got Kyle for a while. He's over here. He came to Alabama today. You know, uh, went to Pensacola yesterday and had had a couple shots, but did not did not capitalize on my opportunities. And so yeah, I got broke off. I got whipped a couple times, but I'm looking for a redemption today. We're gonna get out. We're gonna get after it. Kyle's in the bait shop getting him some fiddlers right now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get after it. A little windy, I'm um, not able to get to where we're wanting to go, but we are going to salvage the day. We're going to go fish a couple other spots. But yeah, I'm going to quit jibber jabber and I'm going to jump straight into it. Next thing you'll see is GoPro on the boat. That's a sheeper. Oh, that's a good sheeper. Holy cow. That's a real good sheeper. Good than that, dang it. There we go. Hey, Kyle. All right, y'all. I have redeemed myself from yesterday. Nice, big old fat sheep. It feels good to get one on the board and not break me off. He stole my crab one time before, but I, uh, I beat him the second time and got him on the boat. Nice. All right. Hit this big girl with the release. You can tell she is inflated with eggs. So, I'm going to let her kick off if she decides to. There she goes. Nice. All right, let's send her back down and see if she had any buddies with her down there. Oh. All right, check it out, y'all. This is where we're fishing. You can see. Old warehouse back in the day used to be a fishing warehouse. So they'd ship stuff out of here and it's pretty cool. Uh, got all these pylons underneath here that we're able to fish and uh, yeah, they should be holding some pretty good fish. It's looking sheepy. It's that time of year, so we'll see what we can do. Old Scott, he's uh, I think he came over here and ate a little some, some cornbread. I, I did, I chummed him up with my secret cornbread. It was, uh, I, I, I don't know, because I never measured that first one I caught this year, but it was right about that same size. If it, if it wasn't my biggest of the year, it was dang near close to it. Wasn't fighting hard at all. Like, you know, it was fighting some, but I didn't think it was as big as it was. And I got it up next to it and like struggled to get it in the net. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, there we go. It's a little one. It's an eater, though. Nice. Hitting them with a little little Alabama cornbread. <laughs> there. I tell you man, these little ones are squarely. Heck yeah. The, the abandoned warehouse donkey. There we go. 
All right. That's perfect heat size right there, too, man. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's a good one, buddy. You want to keep it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going in. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Yep. All right. We are out here now in a new spot. Kyle just lost a just a toad, but he got them pretty quick, so that's a good thing. We know they're here at least. We'll drop down. See if I can't get one. Tried for a trout real quick, didn't, didn't have any luck with the trout. Only made probably 10 casts though, so still early for them. But it's not early for the sheep. We have sheep head season 2019. It's here. It has been good this year. Oh, I had my dang drink in my hand. I was trying to get him one. Oh my god. Gosh, dang it. Oh my gosh. Just instantly got me in the pole. I set the hook and I could feel him already in the pole. No mm hmm. Dead gum. Dude, here, brother. Yeah. Gosh, man. It's, I mean, as soon as I got it, set the hook, he was in that pile. He's a good one, too. I'm telling you right now, I kind of want to be like you, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. For, I'm gonna be absolutely for the net. No, I think you're fine. I usually run a pretty short. It's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, he's, <clears throat> he's foul hooked again, but he ain't bad. There we go. Heck yeah. All right. All right, y'all. It has been a little while since I have caught another one. But there we go. There's another fatty. That's what we're talking about. Having to work for him today uh, between the wind and slow bite and everything they just really really haven't been chewing chewing too heavy today so having to make make the most out of the bites we are getting but here we go another one for the cooler all right everybody that is going to do it for today's video you know the bite was a little slower than we were hoping for uh but we still got some nice fish you know i landed two really really nice ones kyle lost a really really nice one there at the end um you know i got Got one that was uh, wasn't wasn't the biggest, but it's perfect theater size. So I got got two in the cooler. I'm getting ready to clean. So you know, wasn't like I said, wasn't the wasn't the fastest bite, but we still got some fish. So wasn't a total bust, but uh, you know, it's 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 the start of sheephead season. So you can kind of kind of expect that you're, you're gonna have just as good uh, just as many slow days as you are good days. So about another you know two three weeks or so, and it should just kick off and be on fire. So be looking out. We're gonna be doing a lot more sheephead fishing you know with these kind of weird wacky temperatures going up and down um the the sheephead fishing is a little more consistent than the red fishing and the trout fishing so be doing some of that we got got a lot of surf fishing coming up um gonna be doing hitting the beach heavy here soon you know pompano runs gonna start kicking off soon and me and kyle are gonna be hitting the beach we'll be getting up with beach bum and everything too so be on the lookout for that um you know if you guys aren't subscribed up yet go ahead and subscribe
subscribe up that way you can get the notifications because gonna be trying to pump out the content here soon you know just getting out as much YouTube videos as I can so y'all be on the lookout for that um, you know if you enjoyed today's video, if you enjoyed the abandoned warehouse, you know, uh, go ahead and shoot me a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see me go back there and try it again. Uh, you know, give Kyle a little redemption. We'll be, be I'll be trying to go to Florida to get some redemption. Um, you know, it'll probably be the next video y'all see is, uh, I just, you know, I got whooped in Florida. Something about those Florida sheephead, they just don't like me. They do not like me. But I'm going to get revenge on those eventually here soon. So, like I said, you know, <laughs> stay, on the, stay on the lookout for that too. But... As always, you know, I appreciate all the support y'all give me. I appreciate all the all the thumbs up, all the comments, everything, you know, means the world to me. You know, like I say, it means the world to me that y'all would take the time out of your day to watch my videos. So until next time, I uh, I will see y'all later.